the stupid intros. We don't even have an intro. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Or afternoon, I'm not sure. So a while ago, I did a tutorial on uh, walk cycles, which is pretty basic, and people seem to struggle with it, but today's not about that. Today, we shall learn lip sync. As usual, I'm going to leave a link in the description for a Blender's Basics tutorial for anyone who's brand new at Blender. I'll also leave a playlist to the last few tutorials I've done. Before we begin, I want to tell you about the awesome sponsor for today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is a website dedicated to teaching you, well, pretty much anything. They offer step-by-step -step classes for anything you want to learn, things that actually apply to your everyday life. If you're an animator like me, there's classes for Maya, Cinema 4D, Blender, you name it. For you editors out there, there's classes on video editing and Premiere and After Effects, and much more. Into art? Skillshare's got you covered with countless art classes right at your fingertips. All this for under 10 bucks a month! That's like, less than the cost of going out for lunch! Hmm, what do I want today? Unlimited access to thousands of classes to learn pretty much anything I want? Or tacos? The choice basically answers itself. I'm serious guys, I love Skillshare. I've been looking at some of the classes, and it's been great! I love how organized everything is. And get this, they have a limited time offer where you can get the first two months free. And who doesn't love free stuff? Plus, it helps out the channel so we can keep making awesome animations for you guys. So what are you waiting for? Check out the link in the description to start your first two months free. Now, back to our regularly scheduled program. Alright, jelly beans aside, let's try to be serious. Which probably won't happen, since I want to keep this tutorial slash class thing fun for you while also making sure you learn what you came here for to begin with. So well, first off, we're going to want to add a clip to the timeline. And we can do that by going down to the left here where there's a little icon of a gray block or white. Who cares? We click it, and then we go to Video Sequence Editor. And then we open up the folder which contains your audio or clip. I'm going to leave a link to the audio used in this tutorial in case you want to try it out yourself. Most audio and video file types can be dragged into the Video Sequence Editor. And just drag that into the editor and drop it in. Hold on, sugar. Now to move the clip, you right-click the clip in the middle, like so. And then we press G to drag it to wherever we need in case we import it too far from where it's supposed to be. Or we just want to drag it around. Pretty simple. To edit the start or end point of your clip, just right-click the arrow on the edge of the clip. And press G to drag it around. Alright, now that we've got all that done, let's move on to phase 2 or 3? No. Phase 2. 2. So we will go down here and just clicky click 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 this play button and make sure you select AV Sync and Audio Scrubbing. Okay, so what AV Sync does is during production, or animating to be precise, you will come across a point where the scene will lag. So with the AV Sync on, you're making sure the audio stays with the frame picker instead of wandering off on its silly adventures. So basic audio safety. Audio Scrubbing on the other hand, when you drag your little frame picker here, around the timeline like so, you will be able to hear the clip or audio playing as you scrub. And yours truly, mouth positions. It's actually no biggie really, just a couple of mouth expressions or basic shapes, so I'll just plop up a chart right there. So basically the mouth shape corresponds to the letter under the picture. Go ahead and take a look, I'll just be over here taking a sip. Mmm, that's a very good tea. Anyway, I'll also leave a link in the description for the lip sync chart, in case you want to download it. What also helps a lot is using yourself as a reference point. Speak out the word slowly a couple times to get a feel of how your lips take the motion and try to replicate it. If it's still feeling tricky, feel free to look in a mirror. I'm going to show you me animating this lip sync just so you can get a taste of how I do it normally.
Somebody stop me! Now for lip sync in general, it's always important to practice, and that's it for this video. I hope you were able to follow along and had a good experience. If sure, if so, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, because you don't want to miss the other tutorials that I'm going to upload next. Make sure to practice and I'll see you in the next tutorial.